In this video, we will show you how to identify the green peach aphid, or GPA for short, a widespread pest of horticultural and broadacre crops in Australia. It is important to correctly identify this aphid species as it has developed resistance to several insecticide groups. The green peach aphid grows up to 3 mm long. The most common colours are shiny pale yellow-green, green and orange to pink. Adults are oval shaped and can be winged or wingless. When trying to morphologically identify green peach aphid, it is best to use a wingless adult, as the features of nymphs are not fully formed and winged adults look quite different, while wingless adults are usually quite uniform in colour. Green peach aphid can often be confused with both cabbage aphid and turnip aphid, but there are key morphological features that set these aphids apart. Tubercles and siphuncles are often used to distinguish between aphid species. Tubercles are small bumps that form at the base of and in between aphids antennae. And siphuncles are exhaust pipe-like appendages that produce honeydew and in some aphid species, pheromones. GPA have well-formed tubercles that are pointed inward, while cabbage and turnip aphids do not. Green peach aphid also have long siphuncles that extend beyond their cauda, or tail, while cabbage and turnip aphids have shorter siphuncles. The shape of aphids' bodies and the length of their antennae can also help with identification. Green peach aphid have a teardrop-shaped body with a shiny texture and have long antennae that extend their body's length, while cabbage and turnip aphid have a more oval shape to their body with a matte texture and their antennae are shorter than those of the green peach aphid. Green peach aphid, adults and nymphs are generally present all year round and like many aphid species in Australia, they reproduce asexually, giving birth to live young. For winter grains, like canola, the green peach aphid migrates into these crops from summer hosts, such as weeds and volunteers, and colonies begin building up. In temperate regions of Australia, temperatures during spring and autumn are optimal for aphid survival and reproduction. When the plant becomes unsuitable or overcrowding occurs, the population produces winged aphids, which can migrate to other plants or crops. Oversummer aphids can persist in low numbers on weed hosts until the next growing season. Canola and pulses are two grain crops that are particularly susceptible to the green peach aphid. Heavy infestations can cause leaf distortion, leaf senescence and even seedling death. However, green peach aphid often causes less direct feeding damage compared to other aphid species. It is their ability to transmit viruses, particularly turnip yellows virus, that can cause significant damage. Early turnip yellows virus infection in canola can lead to yield losses of up to 50%. Stunted red plants and stiffening of the leaves are symptoms of turnip yellows virus in canola. Green peach aphid prefer to inhabit the underside of the lower leaves of its host plant. Summer weeds should be monitored for the green peach aphid and removed if they are present. After planting, especially during a wet autumn, regular aphid monitoring is recommended to detect any green peach aphid migrating into emerging crops. The edges of paddocks should be monitored carefully as this is where the green peach aphid will migrate from roadside green bridges. Green peach aphid distribution can be patchy in crops, so monitor at least 5 points in the paddock, checking 20 plants at each point. The green peach aphid has evolved pesticide resistance to several chemical actives approved for use by the APVMA. Correctly identifying this pest is therefore crucial for implementing the best management and control strategies.